So get the physical properties of aldehyde and ketone. Physical properties. Physical property of aldehyde and ketone. Okay, so first physical property is that most of the aldehyde are liquid at room temperature. Most of the first about aldehyde first aldehyde. Most of the aldehyde first point. Most of the aldehyde are liquid at room temperature. Except one, except formaldehyde, except formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a gas. Formaldehyde is a gas. CHCHO, this is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a gas at room temperature. So why they are liquid at room temperature? Most of the aldehyde are liquid at room temperature because they have a strong force of attraction due to the presence of oxygen and hydrogen bonds. That is why they are liquid at room temperature. Due to the presence of oxygen and hydrogen, they are liquid at room temperature because they have a strong force of attraction between them. Okay? Yes. Then if we talk about ketone, we are talking both the we are taking both the aldehyde and ketone physical together. Most of the ketone are colorless liquid. Yeah, also colorless liquid. They are colorless liquid with pleasant smell. With pleasant smell. The smell is very pleasant. Like that of fruiting, like that of fruit with pleasant smell. With pleasant smell. Okay. Whereas higher member are colorless solids. Higher member of ketone. Higher member of ketone. Ketone are colorless solids. Colorless solids. Because still their force of attraction increases. Okay. And aromatic, I will talk about aromatic ketone. Aromatic ketone. They are colorless solid. They are solid with pleasant smell. Solid with pleasant smell. Solid with pleasant smell. With pleasant smell. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yes. I just Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I might get the illustration of Yotam. Yotam, yes. Okay, so, uh, I hope you understand the purpose of the slide. Uh, the, see, the, 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 Yotam is basically inactive, right? Because he has not renewed his classes. No, I have I have talked to the parents so said that uh, they will be removing after some time. Okay. 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 
Uh, most probably after before every class I interact with the parents because she, she, we uh, we basically talk to the I basically talk to the parents call 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 her all the classes and all the things. I think uh, I think I think she is most satisfied because I have a conversation from his mother also that he is he is very much understanding. I have matter also. He is very much understanding about your about how the way I am teaching. So and he has review because they are reviewing every month. Uh, because you know some is taking both classes, math also coding class. So I am teaching math, but some other teacher is taking coding class. Okay. Okay, so I can see he has not activated both. So he takes every month he takes eight sixteen classes. From two times he has done that way. When I when I begin teaching here, some he has reviewed two times, and both the times he he has he has always taken eight eight classes, means sixteen classes, all of which eight classes are one uh, eight classes of math and eight classes of reading. Means every month he takes eight classes of math and reading. Yeah, yeah, he is good in that. He is good. He is good in that. Uh, what? But he is more often. Uh, if I, he is good in class, but the, he is not functional. It means every day, every time I have to shift his class because his mother asked me uh, because we have to travel every time to shift. So there is no time change. He he used to shift the class every day. Means every day, every day I have to shift the class. Excellent, 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 excellent. He gets that answer very, very easily. He's like, he's like you. He's going in algebra. Algebra. And he is also um, because from um, when I started taking class, he is doing algebra with me. So I, yeah. No, no, in algebra he is fine. If he if he has some 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 uh, query, he always try to ask me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Assessment is complete. Uh, he 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 is not much. He is not very uh, because he has been disturbed by uh, by some question, but because he is aware, but he is not doing very fast, not very slowly. So, equity is average. He has a score is seventy seventy five. So it is. I I am I am totally dependent on your phone because I ask question. You don't catch the 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 chapter that we are doing in the class. You continue here or here only in the few minutes. So no, he is just asking about algebra. So we are continuing with algebra. After doing algebra, we 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 want to shift in another chapter. So he never talks to uh, next chapter. We we will just talk. And uh, okay, and one more strand is there. Uh, since I talked to her mother, that is Kashmi. So I, I am in touch with him. So uh, he is I 
for two days earlier, I have talked to him, talked to her. So she said that he will be leaving and he will be leaving the class and, and let, let me know. Then today he told me he, he, he wants to leave him after some time, after 15 months. So talk to them and convince them to leave him. Because uh, I think he will be renewing, but there must be some a financial loss or something that's why he is not renewing. The problem is because they are very, uh, they are very, uh, very, uh, very pleased with the human act, so they, they must be renewing. No, no, she does not have a She is still in class in grade 3. I am, I am, I am in touch with her. I am careful. She told me when, whenever she did you, that person, she will let me know. My message is there. No, no, I thought everything you have asked me that happened. So I have to. Okay, very clear number. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Winter, नहीं आजकल इन लोगों ने बदल दिया हो. जो भी ये रह गए थे हैं, ये लोग आने गए थे हैं. पहले जो रिन्यूअल के लिए जैसे कि अब जो थम रिन्यू नहीं करा रहा उनको कॉल करेंगे रिन्यू के लिए क्या प्रॉब्लम आ रही है वो चेक कांटेक्ट करेंगे तो हम से फीडबैक लेते हैं अब जो मर्जी है उनकी हमारे से क्या मतलब ओके ओके सॉरी निखले आई हैव गोट एन इम्पोर्टेंट कॉल दैट इज व्हाई आई एम नॉ so if we talk about the boiling point boiling point if we talk about the boiling point so aldehyde and ketones have both aldehyde and ketones both have high boiling point with respect to their hydrocarbon they have high boiling boiling point both both have high boiling point high boiling point with respect to their respect to their corresponding hydrocarbon what do you understand by this okay corresponding hydrocarbon like like if we if we talk about acetone csp cho and we talk about ketone like csp and co c s so this of all we can talk about c s three c s three of this is propanol and this is propanol this is propanol propanol and this is propanol propanol and their corresponding which are hydrocarbon they have they are made they are made up of propane both they are their corresponding hydrocarbon is propane so they have generally high melting point and boiling point high melting point and boiling point to the corresponding propane okay got it yes sir got it nikhlesh got it yes sir why it is so because propane is neutral propane has no charge we are neutral no charge they have no charge they are neutral no charge but propanol and propanone has dipole moment because they are positive and negative charges there due to the presence of oxygen group so they are they are dipole they have dipole moment dipole moment means they have positive and negative charge both the uh, aldehyde and ketone bo both have dipole moment due to the presence of positive and negative charge due to the presence of oxygen oxygen so oxygen has negative charge and carbon has positive charge so both have both have dipole moment due to pressure of dipole moment in aldehyde and ketone they are strong force of attraction between them they have strong due to presence of dipole moment they have 
a strong force of attraction between them strong force of attraction between them force of attraction between them attraction between them so their melody so it is it is very it is very difficult to to boil them because in boiling bonds are broken boil them so their boiling point and uh, and both melting point are very high got it yes sir to them a uh, one second sir Uh, yes. Okay. Talking about solubility, if we talk about solubility, third point, solubility, solubility in water, solubility in water, solubility in water. The lower the lower members of means one to four carbonate. The lower members of of aldehyde and ketone. Uh, yeah. the lower members of aldehyde and ketones the lower members of aldehyde and ketones are soluble in water are soluble in water why they are soluble in water as they are hydrocarbon they are mainly basically made of carbon atom so 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 they must not be soluble in water but due to the presence of dipole moment of hydrogen because they have dipole moment they are positive negative charge they can form hydrogen bond due to the presence of due to the presence of dipole moment of charged particles charged particles they can form hydrogen bond with water they can form hydrogen bond in water hydrogen bond with water that is why they are soluble in water that is why they are soluble in water that is why they are soluble in water okay but higher member the solubility decreases the solubility decreases the solubility decreases as the number of carbon atom increases as the number of carbon atom increases increases okay got it yes sir can i rub this yes sir now these are the physical properties now we we come to the chemical properties chemical properties of aldehyde and ketone chemical properties of aldehyde and ketone
first most of the reaction most of the aldehyde and ketones very important aldehyde and ketone aldehyde and ketone give addition reaction addition reaction addition reaction why they give addition reaction because because why they give addition reaction say so addition reaction means addition of some atom and why they show addition reaction because of the presence of double bond because of the presence of double bond in them because they are double bond they are very weak bond so aldehyde both the aldehyde and ketone have double bond the aldehyde is c h so it is h and double bond and this is aldehyde and this is your ketone they also have double bond so more so the add new atoms are added to this double bond so new atoms are added to this double bond they are added to this double bond by breaking this and the addition and the addition reaction is of which type the addition reaction is of nucleophilic addition reaction they show nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction means nucleophile addition reaction means nucleophiles are added to the aldehyde and ketone okay this is a nucleophilic addition reaction very important okay so why nucleophilic addition reaction because this is see the structure okay r c o o h so it is it has low electronegativity and it has high electronegativity so it attracts the what happen they attract the electrons when it is broken the electron attract the electron to their side oxygen gets electronegative and this electro positive so what happen the new atom that is added are basically what they are electrophile electron loving they sorry they are nucleophile so first this is added this so they are nucleus loving so nucleus is added to this because they have extra charge they are they have negative charge so they love to attract nucleophile that have positive charge so new new electrophile new nucleophile is get going to add so nucleophile is going to add on this on this aldehyde and similarly ketone also so nucleophile addition reaction so it will positive is electronegative so new elect, elect, nucleophile is going to attach on this got it yes sir yeah correct Written. Yes, sir. So first, first property I have shown shown that is a this slow nucleophilic addition reaction. Both aldehyde and ketone show nucleophilic addition reaction. Means nucleophiles are added addition reaction. Nucleophiles, nucleus loving, positive are added. So they are they show nucleophilic addition reaction. Second important thing is that the reactivity of aldehyde and ketone. First, second is the reactivity of aldehyde and ketone. Second, right? The how they are reactive. The reactivity of reactivity of aldehyde and ketone. the reactivity of aldehyde and ketone okay 
Okay. So first is electron releasing effect. Electron releasing effect. First is electron releasing effect. So in ketones, in case of ketones, when we talk about ketones, the carbonyl group the carbonyl group what is carbonyl group that is co group co the carbonyl group in ketone is attached to is attached to two alkyl group two alkyl group the carbonyl group is attached to two alkyl group which are electron releasing in nature, which are electron releasing in nature, which are electron rippling, which are electron rippling or releasing. Electron releasing, we can say that, or electron rippling group, repelling group, rippling group, electron rippling group, So they push the electrons towards the carbonyl group. So what happens? So they are they are negative. So the piece, so the so they push the electron towards the oxygen group. So if you see that one minute. So what I am going to say, this is your ketone. This ketone we can see ketone. So this is carbonyl group. So these are electron releasing group, these are electrons. They push the electron towards the carbon side. So here the carbon concentrate electron is increased. So this electron shift to this side. It means that they convert into this. So they can so they form this is carbon positive, this is O, this is negative. They they convert into this form. Okay. So more the alkyl group is attached, so they they so the, so in such case they are very reactive so they become reactive they become reactive if i give you a question nikhle if i give you a question you write it then i'll give you a question Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So if I give you a, so you understand the concept or I have to make you understand further because the question is going to be given on this concept only. Uh, so could you just explain one second? Okay. Come to the next part. So this is your carbonyl group and this carbonyl group is attached with two electron releasing group. This is carbonyl, this alkyl group is alkyl and alkyl group are electron releasing group means they are not electron loving they are two types electron loving group and electron hating group so these are electron this, this, this r is like c2h5 cs6 they, they have no electro negativity so no electro, so they do not attract electron so they push the electron to a, they push their electron towards the carbon side so this they push the electron to the carbon side if they push the electron to the carbon side carbon is so this carbon is negative charge. Then they, this is they, then what happens is this negative charge also repels this bond. So electron get attached to that, and it has electronegativity. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So they put they attract the electron towards itself. So they get easily convert into this point. They get easily when they get converted into carbon positive and carbon negative, uh, carbon negative, oxygen negative. Now. Now they are charged. Now they can easily at, at, get attracted by nucleophile and electrophile. So they get easily attracted. As soon as they form the positive and negative charge, they get easily attracted by nucleophile. This is nucleophile and they, they are attracted oxygen and positive charge. So as soon as they will form positive negative charge, they will get attracted by the electrophile and nucleophile. And they are, that is why they are more reactive. Got it? More will be the electron releasing group. More will be the more will be the 
easily they will form positive negative charge okay got it Uh, yes sir okay. okay now if i give a question arrange the following carbonyl compound on the basis of react on the basis of reactivity how will you arrange the following arrange the following carbonyl group carbonyl compound on the basis of reactivity on the basis of decreasing reactivity so this is your this is your formaldehyde then this is first compound this is your second compound this is your acetaldehyde or aldehyde and this is your ketone so which is more reactive this is a second compound this is a third compound yes arrange in this the third one uh, like over here like the the double bond will break right yes because of the so, two r's so like that will be the most reactive right yes what you are saying that yes nikhil so like the third one right it will be the it will be more reactive right why it will be more reactive so like over here the double bond will break right and then uh, like yes here uh, that the double bond oh wait no no break. so then it will become so that will be the uh, like the least reactive because c has yeah. positive and o has negative charge yes 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 so they are um uh, so like and reactive. after that um, the second one i mean like the first one will be the most reactive because yeah. over here we don't have uh, like c positive and o negative so like yes, that will be most reactive yes. yes 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 good you got it so this will be the order of reactivity so it is one will be the most reactive one will be the most reactive then followed by this and followed by third one so this is the order of reactivity because we are addition reaction is going to take place clear yes sir Okay. You have you have written it. Ah, uh, one second. So almost done. One second. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, if we talk about the, if we compare aromatic aldehyde and ketone, if we talk about aromatic, if aromatic aldehyde, aromatic aldehyde and ketone. aromatic aldehyde are less reactive than are less reactive than aldehyde aliphatic aldehyde reactive than aliphatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde are less reactive than aliphatic aldehyde why why is this so like i am giving you a question this is here this is your aromatic aldehyde and this is your aliphatic aldehyde so this is will be more reactive than aromatic aldehyde why
Dusty Glade. Why is it so? Hmm. Uh, one second. So, uh, so why there less reactive, right? So this is this is because these are less reactive because they are, have resonating structure. They are, have resonating structure. Okay. They have resonating structure. Due to this resonating structure, the whole charge is distributed on the six carb atom. The charges are distributive set to the whole six carb atom. So there are no positive negative charge to attract to attract nucleophile or electrophile. That, are, that is why they are less susceptible to the nucleophilic or electrophilic attack. Okay. Whereas in aliphatic aldehyde, there is no resonating structure is present. That is why they are more reactive. Got it? So due to due to presence of resonating structure in aromatic aldehyde, aromatic aldehyde. They are they are less reactive than aliphatic aldehyde. Less reactive than aliphatic aldehyde. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Done. If we come, if we compare among L, so then, so next point is, if we compare, if we compare among aromatic. Ketones, aromatic ketones, and aromatic aldehyde. Then, aromatic aldehyde are more reactive. is more reactive than aliphatic sorry aromatic ketone ketone got it Yes, sir. So if we arrange them, so if we arrange them in the order of reactivity, so this is like this. So aromatic aldehyde will be more reactive than aromatic ketones. aromatic ketone which will be more reactive than di diphenyl ketone and this is an this will be more reactive than so this will be more reactive sorry so and this will be more reactive than aromatic aldehyde Okay, got it. Got it. This is the order of reactivity. Yes, sir.
so we have to discuss the chemical reactivity so what are the topics we are going to discuss in chemical reactivity the topics can be discussed in chemical reactivity so you know the funda how it is reactive to so chemical chem reaction we are going to study under the topic first addition across carbonyl bond addition across co bond replacement of carbonyl oxygen by other group replacement of carbonyl oxygen by other group then oxidation reaction then reduction then reaction with alkalis reaction with alkali mix and miscellaneous reaction Fast written. So first, we will start going to discuss. first is addition account co bond okay where each reaction is very much important each reaction is very much important okay addition across co bond okay So first in this first we have nucleic acid. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So first is addition across CO bond. The so first is addition of hydrogen cyanide. Addition of hydrogen cyanide. Addition of hydrogen cyanide. addition of hydrogen cyanide so this is your co bond this is carbonyl group and this is hydrogen cyanide hcl so what happens this double bond gets break broken this this bond gets broken so it will be c c and here cn is get attacked attract This is the addition of, and here this is O, and here H is going to attract. So the whole CN, so H is going to attract with oxygen, and CN is go going to attract attach this because it is an electrophile. It is like this. This is this is convert in this form. So it gets positive charge, and it gets negative charge. So now when CN gets broken. hydrogen is positive charge and cn is negative because so this hydrogen this hydrogen is going to attract o group and this this cn is going to attract the carbon group 
so it leads to the formation of this understand written So this is known as cyanohydride. Yes, this is cyanohydride. Cyanohydride. So this reaction proceed with attack of addition of nucleophile. The reaction proceed with addition of nucleophile because it is the slow process addition of nucleophile. Both the both the this is your this is your this is the electrophile hcn is the electrophile and cn minus the nucleophile because nucleus a but out of these the rate of reaction of this nucleophile is the slowest the rate of attraction of this nucleophile is the slowest that is why the reaction proceed with so the slowest step defines the the slowest step of reaction defines the rate of reaction you know that the slowest step determines the rate of reaction rate of reaction the slowest slowest step determines the rate of reaction so this reaction is proceed with addition of nucleophile got it got it yes sir these are the mechanism of reaction is but it is very important so how it is proceeding so this is your carbon this is your oxygen and oxygen they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 pairs of electrons are there then now this is cn this is this is your this is your nucleophile because it is nucleus loving so what happens under the effect of these it is converted into the carbon is converted into like this So this will be this. So this is your. So this is your CN is attached to this. So this will convert into oxygen. So one electron is get lost. So it is under positive charge. So now, sorry, this will be convert into negative charge. So what happens now? The hydrogen going to attract on this. So now hydrogen will come. okay so this is your this is the intermediate this is the intermediate and this is your cyanohydride this is your cyanohydride got it yes sir so if we write the reaction so this is your ch3 c or we can say that this is your acetaldehyde this is h this is carbon hcn so it will be a, and this reaction basically performed under the action of hydrogen hcn at the high dilute hydrochloric acid hcl okay and nacn sodium so hydrogen is this hydrogen cyanide we basically generated this hydrogen cyanide is generated by reaction of dilute hcl with that of nacn so it get get we get hydrogen cyanide 
and your NaCl. So this reaction is generated by reaction of dilute. You cannot write, you will not write here because it is just so it is generated by reaction. You can write it here. This hydrogen cyanide is generated by reaction of dilute HCl and sodium cyanide. Dilute HCl and sodium cyanide. So what happens? This due to the reaction of this, what happens? It will get to like will form CH3. Then it will be your OH. This is your CN and this is your CN and this is your H. So acetaldehyde and aldehyde. So acetaldehyde cyanohydride. Cyanohydride, you can say hydride. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. So if there is ketone, this is H. This is your first example. If there is ketone, so this is your you know, CH3 acetone. This is your ester, this is your acetaldehyde. This is acetaldehyde. And this is your acetone. That is your ketone. React with HCN. And what happens? So see this will be CH3. C, then this is your CH3. It reacts with O, then your H, and it will form C. So it will be your acetone cyanohydrate. Acetone cyanohydrate. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, can you, can you have a one hour class? Okay, okay. So, we will start from. Okay, just I want to complete this this topic. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Written. Yes, sir. Uh, one second, sir. One second. Yeah. So, last. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So, what are the uses of cyanohydrin? Uses of cyanohydrin that we are preparing. Cyanohydrin hydrins are used are used to prepare alpha hydroxy acid, hydroxy acid, and amino and amino alcohol or amino alcohol and also they are used for preparation of alpha beta unsaturated acid unsaturated acid okay You got it? Yes, sir. Okay. So we will start our class with from in Wednesday. Okay? okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye.